Grins out, pass over the middle to Garner Jones. It's gonna be stopped just short of the line of scrimmage. Forward progress may stop him just short. Yeah, somebody was giving a little bit too much effort there. He is gonna be marked a yard short. He's gonna be marked right at the 30 yard line. It's gonna be second and one. Actually, third and one. I feel like this is a play where Granzo could just keep it on the RPO, but I don't know if he wants to do that here since he's done it several times already. Instead, he's going to give it to Luke Walters. It's going to be brought down after gaining the first down. It yeah, looks like he got it on that play. He got tripped up, but nice extension of the ball there. Yeah, number 10, Langston Patterson tripped him up a little bit, but again, Walters with the extra effort to make the play. So it's first and 10 on the 28. Granza's gonna pass for Garner Jones, and the pass is complete right at the seven yard line. Yeah, Garner Jones making a nice play over the middle there. And it almost looked like they were gonna pick that play off as well. It was hard to tell if he had caught it initially, but that's a big play down the field that Brentwood needed. So it's now first and goal on the 10 yard line with six minutes and 20 seconds left. Granzow is gonna keep it. He's gonna roll out, he's gonna try to pass, but it'll go off number eight, yeah. Paul Purdue. Yeah, he tried to roll out there, but I don't really think Hanley was there. Now second and second and goal on the ten. What is that? What? That big. Okay. Come on. Hand off to Scott Collins right at the middle for a Brentwood touchdown. That's a great play right there. Just saw some vision right through the middle, and he made the play. Excellent. So Thomas Day on to attempt the extra point. So the extra point is good. The score is now Brentwood 14, CPA 6. That drive covers about 85 yards. Yeah, that, that was a very long drive there. And some, some notable things on that drive. Granzo really for the first time tonight took a shot in the open field. Not something that we're really used to him doing, in the, at least in the last couple of games. It's been mostly screen passes. But that's, that's a great job there. And then obviously some of those run plays, Luke Walters with that extra effort on third down. And then we, we just saw that play right there by Scott Collins. So evidently it's a touchdown. One person, Tugger, we haven't noticed any tonight is Tabor Miller, and I don't know if that's just because we haven't punted or it's maybe there's an injury. Yeah, I don't really know. I know there was talk of him being injured at the uh, at the beginning of the season, but he hasn't been out there. Usually he is their kickoff man, though. Thomas Day's kick. It's going to be fielded right at the one. 
by Tyler Reed. He's got some space and it looks like some holding, but they're not gonna call it. And he is gonna go all the way. That was a complete return. That was a 100 yard return by Tyler Reed. They missed some several holding penalties on that return. Yeah, there was definitely a bit of a hold. And honestly, I thought that kick went into the end zone as well. His feet were still in the end zone, but I guess the ball was still going to be out. Must have been. And it looks like they're going for two here, and that's probably the idea that I would that I would have if I'm. Yeah, I, th I think CPA got away with several things on that play, but they can't do anything about it now. So Law is rolling. It's going to be pressured by Will Laughlin, but the two-point conversion is complete, and there's a flag on the play. Flag on the field. Yes, his feet yeah, on the replay were in the end zone. definitely in the end zone. I don't know why they let that one slide. That's, that's a miss by the officials there. In fact, a lot of misses by the officials there. Still waiting on the call. I guess he waved his flag. Must have. Well, it looks like now they're going to be kicking deeper, so I guess there was a penalty, but we may never know. Yeah, uh, one of those that's always enforced on the kickoff. Walker Merrill is back deep for the Bruins. CPA will be having to kick off from the 25 yard line. It's 14 to 14, 547 remaining in the third quarter. Merrill will field it right at the 20. He's at the 30. 35 brought down right at the 40. Some extracurriculars. Walker Merrill is obviously upset. Yeah, there may have been a face mask there if they missed it, but good return, obviously aided by that penalty because they had to kick it deeper than they wanted to. But good field position here for the Bruins. So it's first and 10 on the 39. Score is tied at 14. Hand off to Wal uh, Luke Walters. Walter Looks like helmet to helmet contact. But they're not going to call it, of course. Yeah, they've, they've missed a lot in the last couple of sequences here. But still a nice play by Walters to bounce to the outside. So it's now second and five on the 44 yard line with five minutes and 33 seconds left to go in the quarter. Granzel's pass to Clay Hanley is complete. 
Play's going to be brought down right at the 49. Out close to the first down marker. And there's a it is, a Vico first down. So Clay Hanley will get the first down. It'll be first and 10 right around midfield. Again, the subtle power of the screen pass in the RPO game. Passes pass to uh, Walker Merrill is complete. It's going to be brought down right at the 41-yard uh, line. Yeah, he had a nice game there. Dodged the two guys that Hanley was blocking, and Rodriguez was not fast enough to get a good angle on him. I was going to keep it. He's going to get the, oh, ball comes out. Oh, no. CPA says they have it. Hard to tell. And they'll give it to CPA. CPA. See what happens. So that's the first fumble of the night. It'll be first and 10 CPA on their own 41. First and 10 CPA from the 41. Hand off to Whiteley. He'll gain about four. So it's now second and seven, ball on the 44. Law under pressure. Jack Wells chasing him down and Jack Wells will bring him down right at midfield. Good play by Jack Wells to stay in pursuit. Unfortunately, he got a pretty big chunk on that play. And we, I believe that's a CPA player. Nope. It's Brentwood player. Looks like Laughlin. Yep. <laughs> Must have come down on the end of that pile or bottom of it.
Hope Will's okay. Yeah, it looks like he is. Hopefully, hopefully that's just a cramp. Although there does appear to be a stretcher over there, which is no good if the injury is serious. But anyway, CPA resumes on the mid uh, midfield. Whitely up the middle. Brentwood seemed confused on that play. Yeah, I honestly got confused too. I kind of lost track of what happened there. First and 10, CPA. So it's now first and 10 CPA on the Brentwood 48. Yeah, it looked like he got walled up initially, but then he just ran, then he just somehow stumbled past the first down marker. First and 10 on the 48. Two minutes and 20 seconds left in this third quarter. Law fires for Rodriguez. Pass is complete, and he's going to be thrown out of bounds by Jack Wells. Nice pursuit there by Wells. I believe at the 40-yard line. Just short of the first down. So it's now going to be second and one. Pickup of nine, second and one. So second and two on the 40. Law hands off to Whiteley. Whiteley up the middle. Looks like he's stopped. Whiteley, the ball and he is. Sterling Ambrose on the tackle. He was tackled by number 10, number Sterling down. Ambrose, short of the first down. It's now second and three. Ball on the 41. Law to, I believe, Rodriguez, but he has stopped short. So it's going to bring up a fourth down situation. This is this is awfully interesting. The uh, it's fourth and five. If you go for it here, it's obviously a big risk. If you're going fourth and four, fourth and five, maybe they'll just try to get him to jump. But if you punt it, you can pin him deep potentially. They're going to go for it. It's fourth and four on the 43. Have to be careful here on both ends. Looks like the jump is what they're attempting to do, and they're, they're going to get a penalty here. It's a delay of game. This penalty may have to may force them to punt. It will. So it's a loss of five, it's fourth and nine. Walker Merrill is going deep for the Bruins. Kick is relatively short. Yeah, that was a wobbler for sure. Walker Merrill is going to call a fair catch right at the 14 yard line. So there's 34 seconds left in this third quarter. Score is tied at 14. And Brentwood will have a first and 10 on the 14 yard line. This isn't a bad situation for Brentwood necessarily. You want, you want to get the ball out, obviously, make some plays down the field as well. And there's only 34 seconds left in the third quarter. So again, these quarters are going by pretty quickly because of these long possessions. Grenzel's pass to Merrill is complete. There is some failed blocking by Clay Hanley. He's going to be tackled right at the 11. Yeah, it looks like. Merrill was grabbed a bit by Whiteside on that play. Whiteley and Whiteside on the coverage. 
Second and ten. Guess what? So the third quarter, quarter is over. over. The score is tied at 14. I'm Jack Townsend, Jack Townsend alongside Tucker Harlan, and we'll be back after Underwriters.